Hello everyone, this is Jeff, and nobody else. Kobe is not here with me today, he's gone to Europe, and will no longer be returning. Just kidding, I'll, he'll be back in about a month, but it is up to me to hold the fort, so to speak, to talk to you guys about this new anime that came out. This anime is called Megalo Box. It's really hard for me to say that without saying Mega Roblox? Mega, I don't know, that just sounds better. Roblox. I think Roblox is a thing. Um, so yeah, Megalobox. This is an anime that came out this year. Came out very recently. And it's a sports anime that's right up our alley. Um, in case you don't know what sport it's referring to from the title, it's boxing. Yeah, the sport is about boxing, but with a twist. So, as you see here in these images, uh, Megalobox is a boxing anime where the boxers have these machines attached to their bodies. And these machines are called Gears, and presumably these machines make you faster and stronger. Um, they don't really dive too much into how that works. I mean, I, I guess you don't really need to know how, how it works. All you need to know is it's boxing, but with machine things. And um, yeah, I'm just gonna be talking a little bit about it. I'm gonna be talking to you about if it passes the four episode test or not. So the four episode test, if you don't know, is a test in which you watch four episodes of any show or anime, and you use that impression that you get from those first few episodes to determine whether or not you should watch um, the rest of the show. So some people have three episode tests, two episode tests, some people have one episode test. Uh, today we're gonna be doing four episodes. So yeah, does it pass the four episode test? Well, the answer is a resounding yes. So first of all, if you've seen the trailer to the show, or if you even just see the clips on the screen, you can see that this show has got a lot of style, and by style I mean the 90s kind, because this is very reminiscent of animes that I've seen from the 90s, uh, most notably Cowboy Bebop, uh, Trigun, it's got that kind of um, gritty vibe to it, um, it's, it's kind of hard to really pinpoint what it is really, I think it's the fact that uh, the color palette is more gray and brown, and um, also, um, it looks kind of grainy-ish. Um, I think that's the best way I can describe it. It doesn't look polished or clean like a lot of modern anime do, and I really like that. It's it's cool to see a throwback to animation styles of old, and um, just from that alone, I was uh, interested in watching this because I really like that animation style, and um, watching it in the actual show itself is amazing. It's like you're watching, um, I mean, not only is the style really done well, but like the fidelity of it is also really good. It's like you're watching a feature length anime movie. So yeah, anime that looks good um, is always good. Now, uh, in terms of um, the actual story and the characters, I, I would say it's uh, not necessarily anything special. Um, you know, it's your typical underdog story. The the initial setup of these first four episodes is you've got this main character, his name is Junk Dog, and he's working with this guy named Nanbu, and um, they're basically throwing fights for money in a gambling ring. And of course, Junk Dog doesn't necessarily like this as a as a living, and um, eventually he betrays his master slash partner. And um, things kind of spiral out of control, sort of, but um, from this betrayal, he gets his opportunity to test his real skill in a real tournament, real legitimate tournament, um, known as Mega Megalonia, which is like the Megalobox tournament. Uh, and uh, actually, yes, he, he has to work his way up there first. He's not, you know, in the tournament right away. He needs to become like a real registered fighter. He gets like an identity and a new name and all that stuff, and he works his way up. And um, yeah, so they're they're so they start at the bottom and they they work their way up. It's that kind of story. Um, the, another early setup is the rivalry between JD slash Junk Dog uh, and Yuri. And um, yeah, this is the Yuri from Yuri and Ice. Um, 
So it's confirmed that this universe is set in the same universe as Yuri and Ice, so you know, we will see for sure an episode in Yuri and Ice where one of the Yuris, don't know which one yet, will be like, you know, I like this ice skating thing, but I think I like I like boxing a lot, you know, that's where the money is. So I think that's gonna be in the next season of Yuri and Ice. Anyway, so the, the rivalry between uh, Yuri and Junk Dog is set up in like the second episode. And um, yeah, I mean, it, it's pretty obvious where the show is going. Um, I don't really think there's going to be any crazy surprises. You know, at the end, I'm pretty sure Junk Dog and Yuri, they're going to duke it out. And uh, Junk Dog is going to win or something and hooray. Um, so yeah, again, like I said, nothing too spectacular. Uh, but that's not to say that it's bad. The characters are likable, um, you know, Junk Dogs, uh, he's uh, constantly trying to uh, prove himself. Um, Nanbu is trying to survive and make a buck. And they also have this other character, um, his name is uh, Saichi or Saicho or something. He's like this little kid. We don't really know too much about him yet, we just know that he's good at hacking things and he's good at technology. And uh, that's why he's invited onto the team because he can use his knowledge of gear technology to, um, to I guess, help them out. Uh, the other thing I wanted to say about this show is the soundtrack is really good. You got some good hip-hop beats, you got some good rock beats, and um, so that's always good. I always enjoy a good soundtrack. And uh, as well as the, the fights themselves. The fights themselves are very visceral. The hits feel strong and powerful. You, get, you got blood splattering everywhere and stuff, so that's always good. Um, if you've listened to our prior podcast, you know me, I like a good tactical anime. I, look, I like an anime that uh, goes really deep into the strategies of the sport itself. I don't really think we're going to get that from the show. It is only a 13 episode show, so we're not really, I don't think, going to get into the real intricacies um, of, the, of the boxing sport itself. Um, but I think we're just in it for a, a pretty fun ride. Uh, into this world of this underdog story of uh, boxing with machines strapped to your back. So yeah, that's why I think it passed the four episode test. It kept my interest. I love the animation. I love the soundtrack. And um, I'm down to see uh, more people punching each other with uh, robot backpacks. So yeah, that is my review of the first four episodes. Highly recommend it. Go ahead and check it out. There's only five episodes out so far. So yeah, I decided to jump on this little bandwagon here and tell you, tell you my thoughts about it. All right. Uh, okay, thanks for listening. If you uh, liked it, give it a like, comment. If you want to comment, subscribe, and all that stuff. And I'll see you guys next time.